All right, so there's very less time left for the year to end and I just want to put out this video. I think this is the perfect time to put out something like this. If you wanted to be a good web developer in 2019, but you're still struggling somewhere, you know, just, just not there, then I guess this video is something which might help you. So how to be a good web developer before the year ends. Now you might start from a medium situation or you might be completely blank right now but this video is something you have to take with a grain of salt and adjust the days according to what you want to do yourself right so as of now there are 79 days left from the time of recording this video depends on where you are but anyway more or less 80 days so take a couple of days first of all to actually decide if this is the field you want to get into, right? Now you might have your own reasons why you want to get into web development. For me, it was, I was genuinely out of cure, out of curiosity, I got into web development. For you, it might be, you know, out of curiosity, out of something to try, some, trying something different, you know, make a quick cash, whatever it is, just decide why you want to get into it. Um, for this you need to figure out what actually happens in web development right see see what you can do when you learn those particular skill set if that is something which excites you then it's good at this point we are just considering around 77 days left so i think you should give 17 days to learn about html css in general now you might think 17 days is a quite a long time but uh, i really believe that a lot of people skip over a lot of details when they are learning basics of HTML and CSS, which is very, very important, right? For this, you need to read as many articles as you can, watch as many videos as you can. Every video would help. No video would waste your time. A lot of, if you watch a lot of content, you will get a lot of input, a lot of insights from different creators, from different people, right? It never hurts to watch same thing uh you know different times from different creators because they might have their own opinion on some some sort some sort of topic or you know their own viewpoint which might be a little different from the other guy so yeah it helps um i would also recommend not to do anything advanced right now do not try to learn anything any advanced concept just keep it to basics just keep it you know easy because better you know more difficult things would come up later on but for now just just try to do basic stuff right it is the little things that matter right now right just make sure you do do those little things correct um yeah for now just don't start building stuff right now just try to follow up with the tutorials you would see online you know follow up with the articles you know see other people's code what they are doing but don't start building yourself at this point, you would have roughly around 60 days left. Now I want you to give the next 30 days to CSS and JavaScript, right? Learn about CSS layout systems. Now the day count is, you know, more or less not really that accurate. You have to, you know, figure out if that is something which you can learn quickly or that is something which requires more time. That is up to you. But this is on an average how much you should take. For CSS layout systems, just give yourself three to four days. Same for CSS animations. Basics of JavaScript, very important. You can pump up the days right now in the basics of JavaScript section. Data types and methods in JavaScript, equally important. You know, just keep it four to five days if you can. Promises, async, await. These are like the core topics of the modern JavaScript. So make sure you give a lot of time to these. Promises, callbacks, why promises were introduced. What is ES, ECMAScript? What is ES6? What is ES7? What is ES8? What is ES9? What are generators? Stuff like that. Closures. Closures is very important. Not only in JavaScript, in life as well. So make sure you pay close attention to how closures work in JavaScript. Similarly for generators promises, just like we discussed above. Prototypal inheritance model. This is also something which is very, very important right now. Right? So a lot of people don't really know what javascript actually is and in order to know that you have to basically know how it works under the hood and prototypal inheritance model and basically the event loop 
these are the two things which are very important in knowing the underlying mechanism of JavaScript. Event loop is kind of advanced. You don't need to know that right now, but you know, just make sure you know about prototypal inheritance model. Then you can have some HTML5 APIs in JavaScript as well. And uh, yeah, at this point you would have roughly 30 days left as well. So at this point, I want you to pick up any one of React, Angular or Vue. Give yourself a day, see the pros and cons of each. And uh, just, you know, if you're not able to decide, just go ahead and pick any one randomly. I would say go ahead with React, right? Learn about the basics of the framework you picked, whether it's React, Angular, Vue, whatever it is. The basics, how it works, you know, the life cycles, how, how the layout, how the, you know, the file structure works, how it actually, how you can actually make it work with your environment, set up your development environment, set up, you know, get a feel of that particular framework, start to work with it, start a complex project with it, something which you think you might not be able to do, but uh, you know how to Google stuff, so you would be able to do it by looking up stuff, right? Now, um, parallelly, when you're building your complex project, learn about it, obviously, right? You started with the basics, but you need to know a lot more about it to actually build stuff, right? How to push it to production, how to, you know, common practices, common pitfalls, life cycles, stuff like that. Give yourself 18 days of that. So that's 18 plus 10 plus 1, 29 days. And you have one more day left. Now, what you have to do with this one day is you have to appreciate your effort once you have actually completed all this stuff once you have actually once you're actually feeling confident in one of the frameworks you know html you know css you know javascript and you know one of the frameworks you like then appreciate your effort it is something which takes a humongous effort to do in sh such a short span of time right so appreciate your effort and tweet me at mayhole saying that you did it and uh, I would be really happy for you at that particular point. Um, but what do you have to do today, right? For today, what you have to do is hold yourself accountable. Comment below that you will do it. And, uh, you know, just start your journey from this particular video. Don't stop. Nobody's, nobody's judging you. Nobody's looking to, you know, nobody has actually has the time to improve you other than yourself so you have to hold yourself accountable for your actions um, follow popular developers on twitter this is something i recommend a lot of people and yeah you can follow me too as well i'm at the rate mayhol mpt so what happens when you follow other developers is that when you're using social media you're gonna see sometimes you're gonna see a lot of information which you might miss or you might know after a very long period of time right some exciting new features or some beta or anything like that so make sure this is something on your list if you're active on twitter and stuff so follow other developers um this is something also i believe in announce what you will do to as many people as you can even though you lose even though you you know don't make it doesn't matter but once you do that you put it out in the crowd that yes you want to do something like this and you're willing to work towards it right so just make sure you do that as well and last but not the least don't stress out yourself but do this to hold yourself accountable don't you know if you're not able to hit the targets on time don't stress out yourself you have plenty of time but still in the micro in the day-to-day -day work you have to put in the effort and on the on the 70 day scale on the 80 day scale you have to be patient so again don't stress, stress uh, don't stress out yourself but make sure you hold yourself accountable, right? And wow, okay, so I have a little bit of, you know, misalignment, but you can just find the link in the description, join CodeDamps Discord server and share your goals with us, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And if you like it, then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.